Now let me break this down for the last time for intellectually challenged. It is not cool for citizens to kill the police. Even though the police are corrupt and stupid and dumb, they need training. You cannot understand the significance of a system flawed with human error. Okay. Apparently somebody's saying one of these cops is a corrupter, these cops are corrupt. Who cares? There's more than just dead police. You understand you understand the significance of my videos. I'm not here saying the police were right in anything or ever will say the police are right or wrong. You have to understand each situation is different. Hold on, this dog's gonna get his ass whooped. Man, what are you doing? Huh? Damn. Stay outside. Sorry about that, folks. This is a real show. Real people. Real time. Real drama. So look. Not all police are perfect. Not all police deserve to get killed. Just to say kill the police, that's pretty stupid. What I try to tell people is this. Don't nobody deserve to die. If the police officers was crooked, fine. Who cares? Fuck them. Karma's a bitch. If they got what they got, then fine. Not all police officers are crooked. Not everybody's crooked. Not everybody's a criminal. Not everybody's guilty of something. What I'm trying to tell people is that we shouldn't be afraid of anybody, of any situation. We're supposed to be a civilized group of people. Yeah, I know the police mess up and do foul stuff. Come on, man. Don't you watch my damn show? But nobody deserves to die. And in a situation like this, when the police can't control the streets, the military moves in. I'm not no ABC type ass person. I am somebody that looks beyond what's in front of me. You don't want citizens killing the police because you ain't going to be able to kill that man in the army suit with the M16 whose orders are to shoot your ass and identify you next week sometimes after the street sweeper come through. Dumbasses. People fail to realize the significance of situations. Opportunities. If we truly live in a corrupt system, don't give the system the opportunity. Because that's what they wait for. That's what they wait for. Those people. Them. Don't give them the opportunity to handcuff the people even more by acting in such a manner that will justify future actions of a harsher, harsher consequence. Intellectually speaking, you get what you ask for. And that goes both ways, all the way around. I am always the person that will look at things from everyone's perspective. Everybody's perspective. So those who want to preconceive and judge me based on the first time you've seen an AIX video, you better dig deeper into the collection, baby. Because if you notice this time, I'm speaking to the people. My language is though where everyone can understand exactly what I'm coming from. If we have problems with the law and the law itself, then we the people have the power to create law. Where's the logic in saying that you must follow in line when you write the line yourself? So if the police are corrupt, what do you do? Write them out. If your voice is strong enough and you can be heard, what do you do? Vote them out. We have the power to control our own. 
if you close your eyes, plug your ears, and see only what you're being shown, you'll only get the consequences of the actions of the actions shown. So when the tanks are riding down the street, and they got the big tractors picking the bodies up, they're going to be saying, oh, they only killing black people. No, they're going to be killing everybody because they won't be able to trust anybody. It's a known fact that most people of our persuasion get hassled by the police. It's a known fact. But if people don't believe it, people won't know until people start doing what people did. But let's not make this a trend. Because like I say, mark my words, when the tanks come rolling through, they check your, your card and your paperwork for you go in the house. When they say your stamp says you, you can't be out past 6 o'clock, best believe if you ain't where you supposed to be on that piece of paper, on that little ID thing, they'll get a swipe. If you're not where you're supposed to be at, you're going to be right where them cops are right now. And it won't be police officers doing it. It'll be our friendly neighborhood military because the police are too damn scared to do their jobs. But hey, I'm just the real AIX. I get tasered wrongfully and bitch and complain about it. But I'm glad she tasered my ass last week, week before last. Because next week, she'll be justified in not tasering the next person. Oh, I was scared, so uh, when the guy stopped and got out of his car, I couldn't try to taser justification of homicide if you give them a reason they will have an excuse or vice versa control your own destiny vote write you have the power to write law every census <laughs> Every citizen has the power to write law. And if you don't believe me, you don't have to be a lawyer to write a law. You don't have to be a lawyer to write a bill. Think beyond the box. If there's a problem, grab the pen and fix it. Because the pen has always been mightier than a sword. And a bullet, hmm. well, I'd rather have a bullet than a pen. Learn what a metaphor is. Watch out for the shackles. Let's hope they don't use the tanks. What they say, Tiananmen was square. <laughs> if you understand the real AIX, pass it on. Play me out, baby.